What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm the Kentucky Beardsman. You're set a little bit crooked. My bad. But welcome back to the channel. As always, I appreciate each and every one of you for giving me just a little bit of your time. And if you enjoy this video, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Cost you nothing. Helps my channel grow a little bit. Get a little bit further out into the algorithm YouTube world. Yes, I know I did a horrible paint job because I painted around my shelves because I was lazy. I'm going to fix that soon. And yes, my face is glowing red because I welded for about seven hours last Thursday and my face got sunburnt from it. If you don't know, welding has puts off UV rays. Therefore, same thing as the sun, it will burn the piss out of you. But I'm going to make a prediction just like I did last year. Last year, 2021, I made a prediction of a certain company being the best new company of 2021. And they ended up being that for me. Now, there's another company that has really, really stormed my top 10, like blew past a bunch of companies um, and are basically tied with three companies for number two in my top 10 list. Just a, a really cool owner, really great guy. He's making great sense. Um, a lot of people are think that Elite Grooming, that's who we're going to be talking about, they think that they only have cologne based scent profiles. Not all of them are. Actually, it's almost half and half. It's They've got quite a few scents like Tobacco Vanilla, which would be Sabin. No, Cypher, excuse me. Uh, I think Sabin is another scent that they, you know, that's not a true cologne, as we will call it. Um, and they don't always do just straight cologne based scent profiles. They also, they'll, they'll take a cologne scent use it as the base, and then they'll add things to it, change it up some. Um, but don't think that everything they have is a cologne-based uh, fragrance or scent profile because it's not. They have a lot of them that are not. Highly recommend checking out their products. I will leave my discount code down in the description for you, but it is Nitro15. Really, really great company. Great products. Again, basically my number two company. Really, really good stuff. Um, now, we're going to talk about Trendsetter. I've had this for a little over a week, may, well, maybe a week. We'll just call it a week I've had this, and it is really, really good. I believe it was I put it in that night. The next morning I put it in, and that afternoon I ordered my second bottle, right? And my second bottle's already on its way. Um, they do have very fast shipping, by the way. Um, but also, I was sitting around, I think, yesterday, and I sent the owner a message. I was like, hey, are you, you know, how, how much you got left, basically? And he's like, you know, if you're wanting another one, get it while it's still there. Because I don't personally know if this is going to be around in the main lineup or if it's just going to be a one and done kind of thing. Something, something tells me it's not going to be a one and done. Just something deep inside of me because it is a really, really good scent uh, is the main reason, basically. But I'm probably going to order my third bottle and I've only had this one again for about a week. Uh, but if that doesn't kind of give you give you a little bit of insight of how much I personally like this scent, um, if I could compare it to any other scent profile that is from Elite, I would put it in the family of the Berg. It, it's kind of in that family of a scent profile. It's completely different than the Berg. It is just completely different in every way, but it's in that same style of scent, I guess we'll call it. It is, it's got a really nice dark, spicy side. It has some really nice high, I, I, it's, I know leather is not a top note. When I say high, I mean it has that just a high note to it. It's really, like, like lemon's a high note, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but it's got that leather in it that's really, really good. Um, I get a little bit of bergamot, some type of citrus in there. I believe it's bergamot. That's going to be your top notes. Uh, the leather would probably be your mids. And then there's um, there's quite a few other things in it. I can't pick out what it is, but it is really freaking good. Um, it, it's, it's just stupendous. We'll call it that. This is definitely going to be the best scent of 2022, hands down, for me anyways. Um, now, scent strength. Uh, this one seems to be a little bit stronger than all the other scents that I've had, like a good bit stronger than all the other scents that I've had from Elite. Uh, scent duration, eight, 10 hours in that, excuse me, in that area, no problem. You'll get eight out of it for sure. Um, Phil and Beard is top notch. Uh, Elite, again, is basically my tie for second place. It is a really, really great Phil and Beard. The oils are phenomenal, <clears throat> excuse me, phenomenal. The butters are phenomenal. You can't go wrong with Elite Grooming's products. Um, 
I don't know what else I can say about it besides go get it. Again, Nitro 15 will save you 15%. Um, get it while it's still there. We don't know if it's going to be there or not, but that's what I got to say about Trendsetter. Go and get it. Elite is killing it. They're they're always putting out new scents. He's, he's got a really, really great... He's got great taste in scents for sure, and he's got a really nice touch with his fill-in beard with his carrier blends. If you got any questions, comments, concerns, hit me up down below in the description. I'll get back with you as soon as I possibly can. That's about it, guys. Much love.